Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I've been shopping around at the moment for my son's new stroller. He's just turned 18 months so we're getting to that point where he's transitioning from the travel system to a stroller. Now what I'm looking for in a stroller is I need something that's going to be easy to pack down and put away, mainly when we're on the go. We do have a very busy lifestyle. We do travel here, there and everywhere. So this is exactly what I need, something that's quite compact. Now, a lot of you will know, if you've been watching my vlogs, that I've struggled in the past with going on an airline and having my travel system put in the hold where it's come out quite battered, quite destroyed. So what I'm really looking for is something that I can put in the overhead locker as well. Now, I know that recently they've started designing these things. So that is ideal for my situations. So I have been torn between a few, but the one stroller that I decided to go for, hopefully I've made a good choice, is the new Silver Cross Click 2023. Come and unbox it with me and let me know what you think. I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna take it for a test drive. I'll let you know my thoughts. So come with me, let's get unboxing. struggling to get into this box we literally can't every single side is completely glued down there's a little bit of tape on the side as you saw um, a little while ago which I've managed to get the tape off but even without the tape every side is like seriously glued I'm really trying to like totally prise it away so in some respects I suppose it is quite good that it's nice and secure when it's in transition but it's just that when it comes to the house it is so hard. I'm trying not to destroy the box because if anything was to go wrong with the product, I'd need to send it back in the same box. I'm trying not to completely destroy it. Although I don't think I'm gonna have much choice here. I think I'm literally gonna have to rip it open or cut it open big time. Are you helping, Bumps? Are you helping? Help, Mummy. <laughs> Are you helping, Mummy? Side I'm pretty sure someone in the comments is going to tell me there's a better way to get in this like use a knife use some scissors but obviously I want to do this with bumps so I'm not gonna use them so I am doing it maybe a more difficult way I'm literally hacking at this We've gone for an almond colour and I don't know it looked a very like on the picture it looked really creamy and white which is what we really liked about it but at the same time we're like oh my god it's gonna get really dirty now is it gonna be like that in real life so I'm gonna get it out and see does it really look as like neutral and cream and white coloured or creamy coloured as it is in real life so I've managed to get into the side bit of the box. So I'm just going to pull it out from here. So it's nicely packaged. They haven't wasted any boxing with this as far as I can see, which is really good. Um, you can see the Silver Cross logo here at the side and the bars, the wheels. The wheels seem to be all intact. Usually these come apart and you have to put them on yourself. So they are intact, which is good. So far, the colours are looking a lot darker than I expected, but... We'll see. I like the fact they've put it in this as well to give it that extra protection so it doesn't get dirty. Have you had enough fumps? Fumps packing it away. I don't like that colour, mummy. I don't like it. I don't want it. Should we get it out and have a look? Should we get it out and have a look, bumpies? Should we do this? Should we do it? Ugh, here it is. Wow. Here's the stroller. 
I'm sure there are some bits that we have to put together. So let's just have a look. So let's get it out of this bag. There's nothing else in there, I don't think, Bumbies. No. Kids, kids just love boxes, don't they? They absolutely love them. By the way, I am recording this. This is my first vlog, actually, that I've been filming on my new phone. So you'll have to forgive me if the angles are all a little bit out. So when you've got little ones running about and you're unboxing things, obviously you get these things and you get bags and stuff like that. So it's very important to be very careful what you're doing with these bags because of children and suffocation and safety and stuff like that. So just make sure you're very aware of where you're putting it, like dispose of it straight away or put it somewhere out of reach of children if they're about. By the way, I'm not a health and safety expert. It's just what I think should be done so this is the bar the bar has come in these polystyrene things so they've kept this nice this is a really similar bar actually to the oyster like our oyster one was a brown kind of suede kind of feel and this is the same feels posh how long is it until the airlines destroy it that's what i want to know the beauty, obviously, of this pushchair is it's supposed to be cabin friendly, which means you can take it on board an aircraft. Now, I was told in the shop when I was looking at this pushchair that it is the right size to go into the overhead locker on a plane, which is why we went for it. They aren't 100%. A lot of airlines, i.e. Ryanair, um, mainly Ryanair, will kind of mug you off a little bit and say that it's not okay to put in the overhead locker. So therefore, when I when I spoke to John Lewis about it, um, the people that were helping me in there, they did say, don't take it as gospel, you can put it in the overhead, but we're not telling you 100% that you can because you get airlines like Ryanair that won't allow it. So sometimes this might be able to go in the overhead, sometimes it might not. And if it doesn't go in the overhead, then there is a 99.9% .9 chance it's going to get trashed by the airlines, as did my first push chair, which I was absolutely devastated about. I spent a thousand pounds almost, or roundabout, on that travel system. And the first holiday we took to Tenerife, it got destroyed on the very first trip, and then it just went downhill from there, and now it's absolutely trashed. Completely given up on it. Um, things had broke on it, and Oyster had replaced things and stuff for us, so they were absolutely amazing, um, which is great. But, you know, they can't do anything about the scratches and the scuffs and stuff like that, and it just looks a bit manky now, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, Bumps is a one and a half, so it's not going to look the best but I could have kept it nicer if it wasn't for the airlines. So anyway, this is the bar, I've shown you this. This, when I say the bar, I don't mean the bar where you push, I mean this is the bar that Bumps has to hold on to. <laughs> is this your show? Is this your show? Is this your show? Is this your show or my show? It's your show. see the phone is on a little selfie stand so here we are again it is a lot darker than i expected i expected this to feel really light this is i believe the rain cover so it does come with a rain cover it depends where you buy it from like sometimes you can buy the whole caboodle so you can buy this push chair with the foot muff the rain cover you can even get a bag that it goes in so when you're traveling you can put it inside a bag and take it everywhere with you so do you know what i've got smidge here i've got bumps here i can't do this properly um but this is real life okay this is how it is when i'm unboxing something but with my deal that I got, obviously I, I paid a bit less than if I was to have the whole deal. So I just literally got the push chair and I got the rain cover with it, which was great. Um, because you need to have your rain cover with a push chair. Always check when you're buying a stroller if it comes with a rain cover, because some don't. And then you have to buy them separately. And then when you look at how much it costs with the rain cover on top, you could have probably gone for a different option as far as push chairs are concerned and maybe got yourself a better one. That's something I noticed when I was shopping around. You will need one. You really will need a rain cover, especially when you've got a stroller like this, because when you have your travel system, the hood tends to, well, when you, 
when when you have your travel system the the push chair will tend to you're right there bumps <laughs> when you have your travel system the hood will go over really really well like because with the oyster it did go right over which was fantastic for keeping casper out of the sun and it was great for if it rained and we didn't have the rain cover on us or something like that not heavy rain but you know light rain was great um but with these the hoods don't go over as far as our oyster did so it is important that you have a rain cover okay so um like most standard push chairs this comes with a lever here and this is how it clasps into place when you're um, locking it down. So that is like the final bit when packing down a push chair. So when you are putting one up, you need to make sure that is released. So what you do is you press that in and you press that up and then it should fold out from what they told me in the store. Whether that will work first time for me here or not, I don't know. Let's see. And there it is! That was the first time I've put it up, so I did do that quite slowly because I just wanted to make sure that we got it all right. But this is the almond colour. It's darker than I expected. On the pictures, it looks so much lighter, but I still really like it. So just a bit of a closer look. You have to excuse the toys everywhere because Fumps has obviously been on a mission, as you've seen. So here are the handlebars. And obviously this is what you push down and there's also a little lever here so you, if you just push it normally it won't go down you need to relieve it with this lock here as well um it's got this bit here at the back so this is really good for ventilation to get some air in so if you're away and aboard you need the hood over but you need some ventilation or something like that that's really handy to have Here's the hood. How far over does the hood go? What I liked about this push chair, because obviously I was torn between this one and the Joey Signature one, which I'll up actually upload a picture of the Joey Signature so you could see what I'm referring to. But with the Joey Signature, the hood went so high that I felt like it was in the way of my hands. So that's what put me off it. Otherwise, I'd have probably gone for that one. But I thought that hood's going to be an absolute nuisance. So this is the hood on this one. And it, this is how far over it will go, which is actually quite good for some protection i'm actually quite impressed with that obviously you can have it to whatever level you want but this is obviously maximum extended and it's also got this little canopy which comes out a little bit further at the front that's pretty good for a hood i'm quite impressed with that i really hope this doesn't get too filthy so this is the seat in fully reclined position it does go back really well now with the joey signature that goes completely back whereas this is not completely laying down it goes back really far so it's it's absolutely fine but the joey signature goes completely back to get this into a high position it's got something to do with this lock here i think so yeah this drawstring at the back you pull this right up tight and you can actually clip it into place with a clip here and then that way the seat sits up must be able to go up a little bit more but obviously this is as yeah it can go further up but this is just sort of like standard level really i like the fact that it's um <laughs> fag resistant seat buckle it's very similar to the oyster only this buckle is a little bit bigger i really like the fact that it's got these things here as well because that will stop like you can put them up near Fumps' neck so it stops them cutting into his neck because these can be really sharp on a baby. You don't realise he's also got one foot in between his legs, which is handy. This bit can go up or down, which is great for sleeping. So yeah, there's just a little bar actually at the back. You just push backwards and that goes down. And then if you want it to stay up, you just, so like the bar underneath here. So you pull it towards you like that or you pull it away. Obviously, this is a 2023 make, so this is the most modern click that you're going to get. Obviously, the push chair is called Click. Swivel wheels, which is great. Oh, well, there's my instructions. Cheers. Wondered where they were hiding. <laughs> yeah, it's quite. I mean, I, I've seen more generous baskets. Like the Joey Signature has got a really generous basket. 
but the Joey signature only comes in like a grey and a black and some pretty boring colours to be fair so that's a downside so really I suppose what swung it for me when picking the pushchair is the colour the hood it is an attractive pushchair um and also I like the fact that the handlebars are quite nice and high which is great for like Tim I don't know whether these lower or not actually then maybe they do go down I don't know but it's nothing worse than when you're a man or if you're a woman that's got a pair of heels on and you find that your handlebars are too low so that's like a really nice height here it is it's nice I like it so what we're going to do is we're going to take it out for a test drive so we're going to go for a coffee I must apologize now a thousand times over for the state of the lounge so let's put this in Nicely done. Nice little clip there. Okay. And we're ready to go. So this is a handy little thing. When you pull this up for the air to come through, it's got a little magnet in it, which sticks nicely to the material. I don't know what's in here that makes it stick, but it sticks. Uh, yeah, I know, but I don't know what sort of magnet is on the other, what it is on the other side, making the magnet stick. I don't know. Is there a magnet on the other side as well? Because I can't yeah. feed it. Yeah, I can. But you it's can there. put that. It's tiny. Oh, yeah. There is. Just there. Wow. So you don't even know it's there. How cool is that? So that keeps that out of the way. So it's not flapping around. But you've also got the zip as well. So if this isn't enough for air or ventilation, you can, hang on, I'm doing this with one hand. You can zip it up or you can let more air in and you get a clearer view of the baby who's asleep look at that nice So after taking the Silver Cross Click 2023 out for a test drive, I did come across some pros and some cons. So starting with the cons, I did find that it felt very, very flimsy. Uh, Tim did spot that before me. I did know that it was going to be quite lightweight, so I was expecting it to feel a bit flimsy, but not to this degree. I found that the wheels felt like they could... Um, break at any point especially the back ones when you go around the corners the push chair tends to tip a little bit to the side so that's quite annoying i also found that the basket is way too small like really small because we were kind of hoping that we could continue using the oyster bag but maybe put it underneath in the basket area but it won't even fit the baby changing bag from the oyster which is quite surprising because it's not completely massive so it's going to be really hard for me to find a small bag that's going to fit on the handlebars of that or that will fit underneath. And then I've got my shopping to think about, which means I may have to buy some of those clips that you can get to get onto the side. So those are the pros and cons. So going shopping with it is quite difficult, which defeats the object really because I wanted something I could pack down small into the car and yes, OK, you've got a small compact push chair. You're not going to get the biggest basket in the world, but I would have appreciated one that was a little bit more bigger than that, really. But that's something I could have noticed for myself when I was shopping around. It does look really, really nice. It's attractive. It has got dirty already. I knew this would happen. Tim did give a drink to Bumps in the push chair, which I told him not to do at this point. And um, we now have like a black currant stain on it. So I kind of knew that was going to happen. So the colour is an epic fail. It looks really nice, but it's not going to look nice in a few weeks. So um, there are a couple of things, yes, that are things that I probably overlooked, but I didn't realise how flimsy it really would feel. I don't think it's going to last me very long, to be honest with you, before it does break. Although it does come with three years warranty. So 
we will see we'll see how it goes like i say the pro side of it is it is a very attractive push chair it has a strap where it can fling over your shoulder so that you can pack that down nice and carry it around efficiently and it packs down so small and really really quick so those are the pros um i do feel like you could get other push chairs on the market for the same price that do all the good things that this push chair does and more to be honest but maybe don't look as attractive as this one. So I don't know. It, it all depends on your personal preference, really. They've all got pros and they've all got cons, but these are the pros and cons to this particular push chair. It's surprising because this is a newer model of the Silver Cross Click 2023. There is an older model. And when they built this model, they did say that they had made it more sturdy and it was more solid. So I was really expecting it to be quite a robust, solid stroller. But it, it isn't. It does feel quite flimsy, which is a shame. Anyway, I do hope that you've liked my unboxing and review of the Silver Cross Click 2023. If you have enjoyed this, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can see more vlogs like this and I'll catch you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. Two, one, go.